Okay, so um, what happened was uh, Thompson's brigade here um, moved forward uh, against uh, Clark's uh, battalion here and um, routed it from fire. They, they came in from all three from three sides, and uh, it, um, it had a double route because it it was fire, it had a route result after routing as it was moving out of the zones of control. So Clark's ran back here with his battalion there, leaving one of his battalions somewhat um, stuck out here. But it was uh, but Clark uh, the Federals had an activation. And um, it had an activation attempt. They lost it to the Confederates. So um, Thompson took a chance, and he's pushed his troops forward again. They're now exhausted, um, but uh, as you can see, they're, they're now surrounding this battalion here. So he's going to have to fall back. So Thompson's saving uh, the what happened here, which was that Allen's um, assault was repulsed. Um, without any uh, casualties, effective casualties against them, and uh, this little, um, uh, these few artilleryists here are disordered. So it's um, a Confederate turn activation. Now Thompson um, can go for a fire action um, without affecting fatigue. Um, which is what they will do. So hoping to fire before this can fire at them or, or flee. So uh, what do we get? So we've got a six and effective fires is five, six, seven, twelve. So that's six. Go down one column. And six down one column. And six is no effect. Okay, so that's two Confederate activations in a row. Now, one of the anomalous things about this turn continuation system is you can see there's some stranded units back here and here and here. Now, this one's independent anyway, but these ones were were part of Thompson's uh, uh, detachment. And this Boyd's battalion here belongs to Allen's brigade. But um, because they're out of range of the commanders, they don't move with them. They have to move uncoordinated. But... You can see that when you're you're trying to press um, an event that's happening there, these fellows get left behind. So w their hope is to be activated. Maybe when when the Confederate sort of active um, fellows have run out of movement actions that they can take, then you'd hope to tidy up the end of the turn by moving these fellows up. However, the turn can end unsuspectingly, and uh, leave leave units like that stranded. Okay, so uh, that was, I think that was, so that was a fire action, the third Confederate, that was no effect. Um, but he gets to return fire, it's facing that direction, so he's got four points, shifts down one. Um, eleven on no effect. Okay, and uh, Thompson... Now let's see, what can we do? Um, don't want to waste an activation when we could, because things are sort of hotting up. Uh, I think what we're going to do is Helm's not going to hang around. He's going to say, guys, go forward, pressure them. You, you never know, we may dislodge them. So Helm's going to go for an activation. Sorry, the action's down here. So Helm's rolling for activation. That's seven plus one is eight. Okay, so he says through these fellows forward. One. Oh, sorry, he's there. One, two. So they're they're moving down this road. They are considered on the road, not in the block. One, two. Uh, okay, these guys are going to have to go in the block. One. Now, to move into an urban block, it takes 
Okay, it takes movement points to enter an urban block, but specifically um, four. So he can do that. He's going to move into that urban um, block five. Um, and it takes a formation change, to, interestingly enough, to move out. So he's in block mode. We'll put that there to remind us. He's in block mode too. Okay, so he's in block mode. Okay. Um, Alabama. Hey, hey, he's going to be exposed to artillery fire. But then I think so was he anyway. Okay, and no, he's not going to do it. He might as well because he's exposed here anyway because uh, there's no line of sight blocked there. And Breckenridge and his supply are going to move with him. Uh, and this artillery is going to... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's going to move down there to... Uh, he's going to say, go and, go and help Alan. I think he needs you more. Okay. And 1, two, Keeping one here, and then this one, two, three, four. Ah, he's stronger. He maybe he should have gone up. Mm. Okay, he's in that road. Okay, so that's four Confederate activations. We go to a federal activation. So obviously. He's going to order his men to fire. Okay, so, um, or we could have this artillery, but these guys need it most. So, seven goes one, two, three and a half, so we call that three. Shift down one because of terrain, and one because of the, yes of the um, sun gland because they're not in urban before that's a could be a disorder but we're all roll of one he's, he's fine ah, I, sh I should have split my fire against those two I could have split my fire I didn't have to okay and this one he's in the block it's going to be range of two Oh, I've been forgetting point blank range would have been double fire car. And so that would have been. Well, I'll check anyway. So he survived that. Um, so he's on four firepower. Against this one, I think, in the street, just against that one. Nine. No effect. Okay. Um, so back to the Confederate activations. Uh, Helm orders them to fire. Six, seven, eight. Okay, successful activation. So what do we have? We have these fellows firing there, point blank. So that's ten plus. Um, what they got four, which has half, so that's twelve. Uh, one minus three is 
there in an early box of three ships one, two, three, one, two. Big difference. That's five. What's called disorder? Four for the world check? No. Ah, so. Oh. It's going to be difficult to dislodge those fellows. Okay, um, let me check some things. Okay, I was trying to ascertain if uh, units can move along the street past the unit in the block because uh, normally, of course, you can't move into a hex where an enemy unit is situated, but um, because uh, they're situated in the block. As far as I can understand the rules, you can move past it, but you are in their zone of control. So this is what's going to be happening, is um, Helms are asking his fellows to move again. So an activation roll. Five plus one for Helm is six, so that goes to the Federals. Not good. Um, uh, now... You get minus one command range for being in a block mode. So in fact, he's not in command of his commander who only has two hex range. He's there, so that would be one, two, but it's only one. So, um, uh, the f the free federal fire will be from this fellow. Okay. And they will fire against the Mississippi again. Nine. Let's see. Six. Nine is nothing. Okay. Um. We'll try and get an uncoordinated action on this artillery here. Five, that will be fine. Uh, so, range of one, two, three. Unit five, four, six, three. Top one's disordered. Well, they're Napoleons. Um, that's four, so that's eight plus six. Fourteen. Fourteen. Um, these are building hits, minus one. Um, uh, disordered fire, another shift. And all artillery fire, another shift. So that's down to it's a four column. Ten. That's no effect. Okay, another um, activation. So these will attempt another fire activation. Ten. No, it goes back to the Confederates. So the Confederate activation will be Helm's planned movement. Okay, so these fellows will be moving down the street. They can go into that zone of control. They're moving out. They will get fire against them. In the six column. Seven. Now that is effective. I don't believe there's any modifiers. Such no, because it's probably at their rear as they go past. Okay, so that's one, two. Okay, same effect. Okay, so they take a casualty and have to have a morale roll. Which means that's, that's Helm's first casualties. And the morale roll is a five. So that, I think, is going to be a disruption. Minus one. Okay. But 
think they've gone past one, two, three. They don't have enough movement points to go on a block now. So they're going to take up possession here. Okay. They are disordered. Um, they're in the block, they'll come out, and uh, that's a formation change movement, they can't. These ones have gone away, one, two, three, four. They get fired up, pounds with them. Eight. That's the same effect. And pass the morale check there. Okay, so Helm's taking some casualties. Let's hope it's worth it. So his brigades now no longer stand effective, which is a, kind of gives a morale bonus. And taking some casualties, some they have no combat effective, as it's called. Um, so where were they? They were there. One, two, three. Okay. Oh, and I have to roll for Helm's possible casualty. This is a more crucial roll because Helm's has like to send the best leader on the board. Five. And that is. Um, fire, small arms, fire. He's wounded. Oh no. Helm's has been wounded. I'll have to check what that means. I don't know. Um, I'm going to have to stop the game as well now because uh, I've got to go and do stuff. So I'll put that there to remind me. He is wounded. Can you see that? No. <laughs> That's Helm's wounded fellow there. Um, okay, that will push up there. Breckenridge is staying here. These guys are Helms, aren't they? So, uh, no. so before he pushes up, these guys are coming round. So they'll take fire as they leave. Um, three column. Okay, I'll finish this off at the leisure.